Discussing the verse, Edina Suratul Mustafima, Suratul Lazina Anam Talehim. That is, O oh our Lord, lead us to the right path, the path of those on whom thou hast bestowed thy favors. And we were trying to understand the nature of those favors which have been bestowed by Allah on his favorite servants. Among those who were favored by Allah, we were discussing the highest strength, that is prophets. And by trying to understand the nature of prophethood, we were trying to understand the nature of favors of Allah, why Allah favors some, and what is the nature of those favors, and uh, how one can achieve those blessings. Apart from other Apart from those particular blessings of Allah in the form of prophethood, which we discussed last time, I have chosen a few more to demonstrate to you from various verses of the Holy Quran. The institution of prophethood is a vast institution. It serves certain specific purposes, which can also be served to a lesser degree by other institutions, but not as well as by prophets themselves. They stand at the highest rank of those who demonstrate those excellent qualities. And uh, as a whole, they are paragon of virtue. In their time, none other than the prophet himself excels in all these qualities and all human beings whatever rank they hold with Allah stand in a lesser position as compared to the Prophet. So this is why the Holy Quran specifies this role played by the Prophets in the verse لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رُسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهَ وَالْيَوْمُ الْآخِرَةِ وَذَكَرَ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا Verily you have in the Prophet of Allah an excellent model for him who fears Allah in the last day and who remembers Allah much. Now this is a common feature of every Prophet. Before Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam, there were other prophets who, in their time, were modeled before their own people. Like Hazrat Ibrahim alaihi wasallam has also been referred to as a model in the Holy Quran in the verse, "Ad kanat lakum uswatun hasanatun fi Ibrahima, walladina maahu." There is a good model for you in Abraham and those with him, and so on. So, the prophets not only <coughs> present a paragon of virtue, a model for the rest to follow, but they also create models. They are the first model created by Allah. Then they mold other models to set examples for the rest of the world. 
Now once these models are created, as have been referred to in the other words which I read, not only in Abraham was a, uh, was a model created for men, but also in those who followed him, who were with him, Wallazina Mahu, they were they also became models. So in the Holy Quran we we read mention of Ahadu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his caliphs and his followers and companions to have become ultimately all models for the rest of the mankind. Now these models once created gradually through a passage of time lose some of the qualities of excellence. Not the first generation itself but those who follow them later on they begin to lose those qualities and the models which are created from models are lesser so in quality and excellence and so other models and other models which are created in, in generation in chains they ultimately lose the quality to a degree that they are no longer worthy of being called models so this is why Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wa himself declared the generations like bearing generations to be the, his own generation then the generation which would follow that generation then the generation that would follow the second generation and after that no light would, would be left except for the stray light from heaven which Allah would, would uh, show for the benefit of mankind like, like uh, stars appear in the absence of sun. So after the dusk is finished, after there is no remnant, remnant of direct sunlight, then of course the stars appear later on, but uh, the stars appear when the night has set, set in. But those stars are not directly lighted by the sun. Similarly, those are not the models created directly by the models created by the prophets. They appear later on and a different phenomenon takes over. But anyway, this is one of the most important functions that a prophet performs. A revelation is made to him. He understands what Allah wants people to be and how Allah wants them to behave and conduct themselves. So he has the first right and the first ability to present the model and as I have understood, as I have declared, gradually this process fades out and ultimately no models are left which are worthy of being called models. When this happens, would a prophet be required or not? If not, how would he be substituted as such in the absence of models to whom would people look up to for guidance? for a living guidance in, in the form of a living message. As far as we understand previously before the time of the Holy Prophet of Islam, this function was always carried out by prophets. But at the time of Ahmad a prophecy was made that this function would be carried out by an institution called the Mujaddidiyat that is those who would revive the faith those people who will be called Mujaddidin who would